Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away, and we're now going to be doing stages 4, 5 and 6 of the fan home release of Build the Mark III Iron Man Armour. <music> Now we actually did this on the live stream uh, that I've just done actually I'm filming this and editing it straight after the live stream so this will probably be going live tonight for tomorrow if that makes any sense. Um, we had a couple of problems that uh, I'm going to show you one now. Uh, if you want to see the live stream in its entirety with no editing I'll put the link up here for that. You can click on that and watch the We always live stream on a Tuesday for an hour anyway. You can watch the banter and the talk and see me getting frustrated by uh, the problem. We built one of the arc reactors here and as you can see the battery lid doesn't want to close and I never got to fix that but you'll see that in the video we also got to work on the elbow for this but uh, this is just an edited version of the live stream of the Iron Man build so enjoy and let's get cracking nice new cutting mat let me uh, just show you issue four at the moment they've all got this uh, comic front on them and what we're going to be doing is the arc reactor now compared to what we've done this is going to hopefully be relatively simple we're just going to create the surround put a bulb in it and light it so it's looking like that i do believe i've got my batteries yes i have got some spare batteries here so um i think we'll just get straight on with it the first thing we're going to do show you everything we've got in the box at the moment the first things we need are this section here this is metal so uh as you can see and we also need this section that's going to go inside it which is plastic now if you see we've got two holes either side of this here they're just going to go into the two pegs that we've got just down there so put these in just see what way round it goes it goes face down this way round and then push them on those pegs so it should look just like that next we're going to be working on this section here which looks just like that and that's going to go over the two big lugs that we've got here and then push that down as you can see it's looking like that from that side but these are going to be held in with some screws and these are a oh god not those ones am screws i'm just trying to find them it was those ones now we are going into metal and you know what i'm going to say normally when i go into metal drop it in a bit of oil now i just use a normal three in one oil that you can get pretty much anywhere i'm just going to line this up again as a matter of fact look even though i put them in like that they don't line up which means i've got it in the wrong way so turn it around put it in the other way they're better they line up now so that's how you can tell you put things in the wrong way i make mistakes so you don't have to <laughs> so there we go that's in place there and that looks just like that we're now going to be working on the switch area here we've got the switch and the battery compartment at the top there and the switch actually just sits in the recess just at the top here so i'm just going to make sure that's lined up flat eventually it's going to have a cover on it with the switch coming through but on this side we want to keep the circuit board inside but we want to mount this bulb here to mount the bulb we've got a couple of bits for that we've got this section here which is the surround for the bulb and that's going to go through the underside here just like that so it's sticking out the top there then we're going to be putting that whole thing into this unit here and pushing it so we're not trapping any wires down like that once we've done that we've got a cover to go over the top that looks like that so that's going to go on top there and then we're going to take this section that we just worked on and in the two lugs that you can see this side we're going to be putting this over the top just like that and that's going to be held in with am screws again <laughs> i was ready to say bbb then am screws there we go so here's the first one nice and tight and that's held in there and we we'll do the second one now i haven't checked the electric so i'm, I'm hoping I'm really hoping that they're gonna work and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting the top on once we've put a battery in now I've had to buy more batteries as you see because I keep running out of them and in the helmet I put far too many in 
So uh, just going to put the battery in. Uh, just try to remember what way around it goes. <laughs> Let's try that one. I'm not happy with this switch at the moment, but I will get that in there. The light is working, so put the top on. I'm just going to see what way around the top goes. It goes this way around, so that the switch comes out the bottom there. Just going to check that works. Yep, it does, and I'm going to screw that together. I'm going to have to... We're putting that in with a BP screw. That switch isn't all the way down at the moment. I'm just going to see if a screw is going to help that out. So stand by. So I'm just going to put this side down. But it does work, as you can see. Light comes on, light goes off, light comes on, light goes off. Look, that's, uh, that's coming out of that side there. Why is it doing that? It doesn't make sense to me. Hmm, strange. Well, you're not going to see the back, but anyway. There you go. That is the arc reactor done. So, put that to one side. We'll add that to the uh, collection of stuff we've got there. And we're going to be working on stage five. Stage five looks just like this. And once again, we're going to be doing an elbow joint, so not much to do in this one at all. We've got two brace parts here, and it's going to take about five seconds to do. That's pretty much it, what you see in the magazine there. Now, these sections here I thought were metal. This one is plastic, just so you know. So we've got that one there. We've got these two sections here, which surprisingly are metal. <laughs> so I don't know what that is all about. And we've also got two of these little washers here now what we're doing this time is the washers are just going to go over the top of these spindles here one there and one this side here and then we're going to be putting these sections in and they're going to be going in oh, let's put them the right way one on this side facing this way one on this side facing this way so that looks just like that believe it or not that's one stage completed. So you can see why I'm doing these all as one go. Then we have got issue six, which we're doing exactly the same thing, but we're actually mixing things together. We have got a little extra bit there, which is gonna go on the top. So we'll do that now. <laughs> can you believe how much there is? This is what it looks like in the pack here. So get these out. And what we're going to do, we're going to be putting the washers, one on that side, one on this side here. We've got this top section here, which is going to go into here, this way around, so it fits perfectly flush. Whoops. Like that. And then we're going to try and piece everything together without anything falling out, which looks just like that. There we go. So we've got that one going that way, that one going that way. And now we just need to hold all this together. They've only gave us one set of screws, so I'm going to take an educated guess and say that they're GP screws. One through this side here. Nice and tight. And then finally, the other one here. Just through the other side. Whoops just through the other side there and that's it that is issue five and six completed that's the elbow joint there and obviously we've done the arc reactor so with all of these bits together as I showed you earlier we've got the foot the boot looking like that we've got the helmet which whoops looks like that and then we've got the gauntlet which looks like that and that is the first six issues of the Iron Man build so there you go I hope you enjoyed that as I said the uh, the, the light works fine apart from that um, I'm guessing that it's not going to matter because you're never going to see this side of it only when you take this out to light it because that's what you're going to have to do with this Iron Man if you want to light this you're going to have to put it out his chest press the button and then push it back into his chest i'm guessing i'm speculating i don't know but if you like that video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care